Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. In the past fortnight, we've learned a lot more about the Boeing 777X, and it's really not all been that positive. You could argue the biggest development has been the delay in production for the Boeing 7778, the second variant in the series that'll now see the Type enter into service potentially a year or two after it was originally scheduled, now being 2023 or even 2024. This, of course, is setting back airlines' plans in regards to orders and deliveries. But today's focus is on the GE9X, which, if you are unaware, is currently being plagued by issues, with it actually being one of the main and sole reasons as to why we haven't seen the 7779 take to the skies and why, also, it will not be flying in 2019. Many people I know were sceptical when thinking about the 777X. Some believed that an aircraft with folding wings or wingtips simply would be a recipe for disaster. However, it's actually been the engines which have been the source of problems. And when taking a look back at my videos, it's not just been the GE9X. Engines on a whole have been a huge problem in the aviation scene for a few years now, and it is pretty concerning. We've had the Pratt & Whitney engine issues on the A320neo, which of course impacted deliveries and Indigo who were forced to ground the type. We've had the biggest crisis, the Trent 1000, on the Boeing 787, causing the grounding of the type and airlines to lose a lot of money, while in addition to having their 787s grounded, drafting on other types of aircraft on a wet lease. We've also seen a lot of further implications from the Trent 1000s on the grand scheme of things with Rolls-Royce and the other engines that they do produce. As we know, the A330neo was delayed because Rolls-Royce had issues getting the engines to them. We saw Emirates doubt Rolls-Royce. What we actually know now is, is that Boeing has sent back four of the GE9X engines. The engine compressor issues, which Boeing has already addressed, is now going to be inspected by GE Aviation. The engines will now be headed to their Ohio facilities, where the type can be closely inspected. Flight Global, who were the ones who broke the news on the flights and the engine being recalled, received a statement from GE with them saying, the GE9X engines are the compliance engines that will be returned for the high-pressure compressor hardware enhancements that GE revealed at the Paris Air Show. GE remains aligned with Boeing on this effort as we work toward the first flight of the 777X. GE had been testing the engine thoroughly with Boeing over recent months, before the type encountered its first problems. What the company now hopes to do is simply create a fix. The fix will be a more robust part that will be installed across all current and future GE9X engines, which should see the problem completely removed and will allow the type to fly. I would say again, but it has not flown yet. The type is set to be ferried by an AN124. As due to restrictions, it cannot actually be moved by a US cargo airline. What are your thoughts on the latest developments, and more importantly, with this delay, can you truly see a delivery for the first 777 slipping into 2021, following the revised delivery estimate of late 2020 by Boeing themselves? Drop your opinions in the comment section below, and feel free to engage with other people's opinions, of course respectfully as well. With that being said, thank you very much for tuning into another one of my videos, and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one.